Just kidding. I got a delivery today, so let's uh, check it out. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Gunpla Delivery where there is definitely some Gunpla in this episode. So fear not, we got some new Gunpla here from the new Metaverse. So right here is the entry grade Build Strike Exceed Galaxy. Uh, it's an interesting kit. I am interested to check this out just because the entry grade line has always been, you know, very, um, what's another word for interesting? Well, it'll be fun to build anyway, and I might have some special plans for this one, so we'll see about that. I'm gonna check it out, and then uh, we'll see. You see, you'll see some more of that one soon. Also, to add to my 30 minutes missions uh, catch up to do list, here we've got the tilt rotor version. So we had a tilt rotor pack out uh, as part of the build fighters, build divers, build divers. I think it was uh, maybe build fighters. Anyway, one of those lines is like an option set pack. This is a 30 minutes missions version of that, which is kind of a bit more substantial looks quite cool though so our other new gumpla is also the entry grade la gundam so we'll have two entry grade kits from the metaverse uh to check out this one also this one based off the arc 72 the other one obviously based off of the strike but uh, having uh, both of these have a substantial amount of new parts in them so it'll be like maybe half or so of the original kit and then half new parts in there as well so this should also be pretty interesting all right, always fun taking off that wrapping. And we got a new Megami device here, the AUV, not Susano, but Amaterasu Regalia here. This one, going back to the smaller size box, but still very deep. A lot of stuff in there, no doubt, a lot of runners. But, uh, you know, just based on past experience with the different versions of the AUV, this one should be a lot of fun. Really super cool design here for this one, kind of. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, this, the name says it all. Amaterasu Regalia, that's pretty much uh, like the best way to describe the kit as well, just like that name. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but also from Kodobukiya, the hand scale Magatsuki is here. And although we have reviewed the uh, Frame Arms Girl, like the full size version of the Magatsuki, uh, we do have the Magatsuki. Hoten also still on the to-do list as well. So it should be interesting to check out. The hand scale line is interesting. It just I think like they're really nice uh, for the, the amount of detail and part separation, everything that you get just for the size. So they're definitely worth checking out if you guys are Frame Arms Girl fans. All right, one more Mecha Musume kit, more of like a military Musume kit here, I guess, with this one. Uh, it's the Saint Asia Star. Uh, let's see, Staple, I think, oh, was the name of this from Lazo Studio. Kind of an interesting one, but check out that box art. Certainly very unique. Uh, this one I thought would be really interesting to check out because it has this like military style to it. So sort of similar to like if you were to take one of like the Sosai Shoujo Taeyan kits and kitbash it with a bunch of parts from the like little armory uh, like line of kit sets. So I don't know, we'll check that out. Certainly looks quite different and interesting. A couple other kind of smaller interesting ones here also is the Fiddler Crab model kit here. This is a collaboration between Miz and Lucky Pig 23 and also Orange Cat Industry. We've built uh, a number of different Orange Cat Industry model kits before. This one is a small little mecha Fiddler Crab model kit, which is very interesting. Really cool, interesting packaging here for this as well. Really got to find a new word for interesting, but uh, we also have the uh, Matoko Kusanagi from Ghost in the Shell standalone complex here in the Hello Good Smile line. I know a lot of mixed uh, feelings from you guys on the Hello Good Smile line, but as you know, I really enjoy the line. I think they're really nice, uh, cool, cute little figures there of some of your favorite anime characters. So I love looking forward, but the line does kind of seem to be stalling out. Uh, I'm not sure if they have too many more on the way, but hopefully they'll continue to make them because I like them a lot, but here is uh, Kusanagi-san there from that line. We'll check that out soon. All right, a couple of mooks in here, but these are also just going to be based on Kurobukiya, like Mech Musume or just Musume model kits here. The first mook is the Sosai Shoujo Teian. I think this was like the modeling guide here, or it's the Maruakari guidebook. So I think it's like the first season, so based off of the first few characters. Oh, there's a poster in here as well. Very nice, so we'll check this out. Um, so it's kind of like a modeling guide and also character guide, like there's a bunch of stuff in here like just about the characters. And then there's also like modeling tips and things in here as well for them. So just kind of like a, a visual guidebook for like everything related to the first season of the Sosai Shoujo Tain characters, which would be like the first three characters, I believe is basically gonna be the extent of what's covered in that one. And then, 
30 Minute Sisters. So not Kodobukiya in this case, I guess actually. And this is uh, the new 30 Minute Sisters MOOC here. So this features a lot of the more recent releases on 30 Minute Sisters line. And I can see there's a bit in here also about the upcoming uh, idol kits there as well that are gonna be releasing soon. Uh, in the line. This is also kind of like a mix of everything. There's a bunch of just like information about some of the different parts. It's like a catalog of everything that's like available in the line. And then there's also like some modeling tips and some like background information, development information. And there's some custom builds in here, featured in here as well. Let me show you this one because this one is modeled by a friend of the channel, Nick, is featured in here. And there's a couple other ones in there I know by a uh, modelers that I know, so really looking forward to checking out that one. All right, last couple of things here is, these are also kind of like a set, but two different releases here from Snail Shell. So these are actually not model kits, but figures from Snail Shell you guys may have seen. I think they've only produced a couple so far. So like fairly new company, but I know that they, even though they've only made a couple, they have been really popular. I know a lot of people have uh, really been enjoying them. So I wanted to check them out for myself. This is a new set of these two right here that kind of go together. They have kind of different style to them or like the same style, but sort of like a Mercurius Vade kind of situation, right? They're, they're kind of matching, but they have like different roles kind of. So unfortunately it looks like one of the boxes got a little crunched there, but okay. So that's about it for this video, guys. That is it for this delivery. A lot of Musume, Mecha Musume type of stuff in there, I know, but there was some Gunpla in there as well. Uh, so it does uh, fit for a Gunpla delivery, but let me know as always in the comment section what you guys are most looking forward to seeing soon. There's quite a variety of like kind of different stuff in here. So let me know in the comment section what you guys would like to see. And of course, I'll take that into consideration. If you guys wanna check out some of this stuff for yourself, you can check the link in the video description down below the video here to USA Gundam Store. We've got a bunch of this stuff. Um, no, I don't think any of the uh, Megami device kit, I know it has arrived. Some of the other stuff may not be in stock quite yet, but a lot of this stuff I know at least is available for pre-order at the moment of recording this video, so check out the link in the video description. Thank you guys so much for all of your support and liking the video, commenting, subscribing. It's very helpful, so thank you guys. Until next time, hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.